Howdy, hi everybody, Maribel. Uh This is the link I've been putting up in my all my descriptions. All you have to do is go to that link, drop down to this, put your email address in that's uh, connected to PayPal or Amazon Payments, and then uh, push whatever you want to do and finish whatever information they need for security to know it's really you, and you buy your DLC. It's $3.99. All they need is your email address. Note, you must own Don't Starve in Steam to play the DLC at this time. If you purchase now and do not own Don't Starve on Steam, you will be able to play later once the standalone version is available. You will not be able to play the DLC in the Chrome version at any point. Now, I do not know what that's about about the Chrome. I would suggest you check out forums on that. Joe W. is one of the Clay Corporation's people, and that's how you pronounce K-L-E-I is Clay. It's a Dutch company. But this is all copyrighted with them with the, uh, the Reign of Giants logo and, you know, PayPal and Amazon and all that good stuff. So all this stuff's copyrighted. And I hope they don't hassle me. Hopefully it'll help them make some money. I paid for it just like you did. I am no way connected with their company. And uh, Mr. Info Bunny is going to help us with some other stuff. He's going to help me go through some of the stuff I should have read on Wiki before I got started with this. And I had no idea this was this complex. It would not surprise me at all if I die. <laughs> and the optional guy mentioned that uh, winter is kind of broke at this time because evidently you get wetness and cold. So you kind of need to wear raincoats and winter gear simultaneously i don't know i'll i'll try to read that word for word from him and uh, that'll be another job for uh, mr info bunny and uh thanks for all your help and comments uh this has been a really blind play and this was a bad one to do it blind on i appreciate your patience howdy hi continuing with uh mr information bunny on some information uh, the optional guy in the first video, and you can read all this in comments yourself if you want to, just to inform you, by the way, winter is a bit broken in its current state due to the fact that you need rain clothing along with warm clothing, which makes it almost impossible to go anywhere, it seems. <laughs> uh, so anyway... Uh, a lot of people commenting there's a lot of uh, Maxwell set pieces. That's been mentioned in forums. I have read that much, and a lot of people are, well, the uh, developers have already said they intend to cut back on them. I kind of, I don't know, I don't see what they're hurting, and I could use extra marble for decorative stuff, but, you know, that's kind of been the history of the game. Uh, I don't see anything else in this one. Let's move on to number two. Now, if I miss anybody, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, I may miss somebody on something, and that's just the way this goes. Uh, Jester, Jesper Nystrom, and uh, let's see, what was that? RGBSF mentioned what I thought were slurpers were actually tumbleweeds. They drop random loot. Um uh, the optional guy again, evidently he's played more than a little bit of this. He's been a big help to me in many times in uh, many different parts of Don't Starve. Uh, a few bits of information. Uh, this is the optional guy. You can make a parasol with six petals, two grass, and two twigs. That's probably in this video. And no science machine required to help you with the rain. The easier season to start in is autumn, by the way, which is summer. Now, autumn is... And uh, Reign of the Giants equates with summer, <laughs> the old summer. Okay. Uh, don't start pretty much. Oh, yeah. In the original, don't start pretty much, and it leads to winter. Uh, a lot more things are flammable, evidently, in summer. That's continuing that thought. Or rather, in autumn. New, uh, new autumn, old summer, sort of. <laughs> when you get really wet. Now, that's what I'm experiencing in this video with, and have been with spring. When you get really wet, your items will get wet. Now, they're supposed to show wet whatever, like wet axe, wet uh, armor, wet whatever, and I didn't notice that. 
uh, you know, how tunnel vision and clueless I can be. But anyway, they have to be dried off or you take huge sanity hits. And that includes the garland, and I'll get back to that. Okay, when you get really wet, your items will get wet. And if you equip equip wet items, you will start losing a lot of sanity. That's what happened to me in this video. The reason winter is broken right now, wait a minute. Yeah. Is uh, pretty much doesn't let you equip warm clothing without it getting wet. And so also, as you saw, if you get too wet, you will start to freeze. I thought it was the ice cubes. I was too wet. So that's that wetness meter thing. Now, some of this information will overlap, and it's just I'm not the most organized person in the world. Uh, late night one, I would say start getting prepared for summer with some ice items, an ice cube hat. And now that's in Wiki, will be definitely needed, and you won't be able to get ice cubes during the summer. Uh, I don't know how long the seasons are, so if there's no ice cubes in summer, I, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be screwed there. So I, I, there's a strong possibility I will fail in my first playthrough. Okay, I learned that the hard way through my first summer. Evidently, you have to set up towards the end of each uh, season for the following season, kind of like with winter, only times 10, times 100, I don't know. Uh, oh, by the way, you can also sew the ice cube hat for some reason, and that's actually in Wiki, and I think it has to do with restoring durability to it. Okay, I think that clears us on comments. So, let's go play in Wiki. First, let's deal with wetness. Items that become wet will be titled wet and then whatever, like X, because uh, uh, what this is is wet X, where X is the item name, so, okay. And if the player holds a wet item, it will drain sanity. If the item is a sanity-gaining item, like the garland, remember I couldn't figure out why I was getting my ass kicked with the top, or it's probably in this, uh, I can't figure out why with the garland and the parasol and all that stuff, I was still getting my rear end kicked on sanity. Uh, if the item wet item is a sanity gaining item such as a garland, the item may become a drain. It will reduce it due to the drain from the wet status being greater than the gain from the item. Items that burn, such as logs that get wet, will be reduced in their burn time. If a tool such as an axe becomes wet, there is a chance the tool will slip out of the player's hand when used. So I'm not sure if holding a tool makes you less sane. Uh, maybe it just gets the slippery thing. Uh, it does say equip, though. So, yeah, it says items that become wet. Kind of some uh, stuff to figure out. Oh, okay, there we go. The player can dry themselves out faster by standing next to a fire. Now, evidently, you just dry out normally over time. Uh, the fire. This will decrease the amount of time waiting to lose the wet status. Uh, pretty parasol is an early game item that functions similar to the umbrella, except with a durability. Now, my umbrella was showing a durability, I thought. I didn't whack anything with it, I don't think. Uh, anyway, the parasol or the umbrella will reduce the amount of wetness received while it is raining, but not completely negate it. There is also a rain hat and a rain coat. So, all these items will reduce the wet gain to manageable levels. A straw, hat a straw hat slightly reduces the amount of wet gain, but it is barely... So, there you go. I needed a rain hat, a raincoat, and a partridge, and a pear tree. Four calling birds, two turtle doves, and a thumb in my... Uh, elevator button. How about that? Alright, I brought up spring first, because that's the season we're in. Uh... Now, on seasons in general, autumn is comparable to regular Don't Starve summer. Winter is similar to what it is now, however, with a few changes to deer clops to make it more difficult. And evidently, they are having problems with wetness. Spring has killer bees. You remember I commented on those, or I may be commenting on those at some point. And you risk suffering from wetness. And summer is a difficult challenge due to the overheating mechanic. Okay, so let's move on to 
New Summer will be the overheating mechanic, and that will be... Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, that'll be after spring, derp. Okay. Overheating is a game mechanic found in the Reign of Giants. Blah, 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 blah. Main challenge of summer. Uh, functions similar to freezing, except uh, this occurs when you're too hot instead of when you're too cold. Overheating can be negated by being near a sufficiently cold source, such as endothermic fire. Uh, an endothermic fire is a stationary light source that works like a fire but cools instead of heating. Now, I don't know if that burns out or not. I noticed it requires gold. In no time, a stationary light source that works like a fire but cools. So I don't know if that burns out or not. It would be seem to go through a lot of gold if it did. And I don't know if you can move it. Okay, eating ice will cool you down sufficiently. That A chilled amulet will prevent overheating. I don't even remember what's in that thing now. I think that'd probably be a pain in that or uh, you know what to make anymore I mean early in a game okay it's three gold and a blue gem yeah and uh, wiki seems to have the old information on it that's going to be a problem like I was trying to find the season length and it it talks about the old seasons okay chilled amulet a pretty parasol or umbrella will also reduce the amount of heat taken. I was kind of thinking they would do the breezy vest, but I don't see it mentioned here. And I imagine if I go to breezy vest, I'll get the old information. Okay, so, wait a minute. Although the heat stone can be frozen using an endothermic fire, it is not a viable option for cooling down, as it will return to normal almost as soon as the player steps out of range of the fire. Oh, there was another thing, and I have no idea if this is, uh, holds up or not. Please let it be in my notes. Yes. Saxton Hale said he thought you might be able to put uh, clothes on drying racks, and I'm kind of... Suspecting since you stand by a fire to dry out, that may not be accurate. But it may be. That was one of those things that I wasn't sure about either way. Uh, if you make a drying rack, throw some clothes on it. Well, you'll probably find out whether you can throw clothes on it or not. Uh, and I'll do it if I, have, uh, <laughs> if I survive <laughs> this time through. <laughs> okay, let's see. Spring, overheating, summer. Now, I was trying to figure out if the ice isn't available. I don't remember what I got from the glacier. And if I, when I look up glacier now, I get no results found. So maybe it was glacier rock or something. Anyway. Okay, anyway, that's enough of this talking instead of playing. So uh, I hope some of that helps. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can put any of this into action and maybe look at some more crafting. See, the problem is, I think it was, what was that, uh, raincoat? Uh, you would have to know to look for it. Oh, yeah, and it takes two tentacle spots. Those aren't the easiest thing in the world to get. And bone shards, and I didn't even know to pick them up with a hammer when I went by them. So there's uh, going to be a fair amount to learn. I think if this had all come out with the monsters in it at this time, it would have been really entertaining. So anyway, I'm going to get back to the game, and this will be uh, uh, in different places throughout the game or maybe in one big old clump. Okay, let's just put a fire here. Let's do that so I can hear less noise. Alright, evidently it's still spring because we've still got the water. Uh, spiders are just killing me is what's happening here. I could build an umbrella. I think there's a raincoat also. I don't know if there's... 
Okay, let's see what we've got here. A pretty parasol, posh and portable protection. Well, I'm one away from making it. Huh. So one more flower for that. Uh, and there will be stuff that endothermic fire. This fire is from opposite day. And it's one gold, two grass, and one wood. Oh, but it's a fire. Hmm, that's interesting. You wonder if there'll be something more permanent later on. And that's to cool you off in the winter. In the, yeah. Now in the, in the summer. Derp, sorry. Still got my, uh, still not quite with it. This is a wrong day for this stuff. Um, and like I said, we need the science machine. Electrical doodad. Science webs. Use a science machine to build a prototype. Hmm. I'm thinking a crock pot would be worthwhile. Raincoat. Two rope, two tentacle spots, and uh, two hound's teeth. I would No, bone shards. Huh. I don't know where one gets bone shards. Uh, let's uh, see what I could find on bone shards, and I'll be back. I should have definitely read before I started this, but then what fun would all this be? Okay, bone shards are an item found in the Reign of the Giants DLC. They are obtained by hammering bones and are used in several crafting recipes such as bucket o' poop, raincoat, and rain hat. So, obviously, I should have been hammering bones. I don't know. I think bones show up on here. There's a lot of this stuff. I never... Yeah, well, that's the hound mound. And you can destroy that, or you've been able to in the past, like a pig house. Um, wow. Uh, I don't think I looked up cactus. Uh, I was wondering if there was a way to dig them without the damage but with the armor we were down to where it was only doing two damage and I think they were doing six without it maybe I'm not a hundred percent sure I kind of rushed the editing to uh, get back to the game to tell you the truth that and get something up on this uh, in the past on updates these have turned the comments have turned into kind of a mini forum yeah, the cactus was already in the game files. Picture suggests it can be dug with a shovel like a berry bush. Uh, God. Uh, Wiki's freezing up on me. And we planted elsewhere as well as harvested for some sort of material. Well, we might have to come back to that. Wait, now there it is. Okay. Cactus is a form of plant from the reign of giants. I'm going to substitute plant for flora. Uh, harvested from the cactus flesh can be harvested from the cactus at the cost of eight health. Cactus restore 12.5 hunger when eaten raw, 12.5 hunger, one health, and five sanity when cooked. Although there appears to be a dug up version shown in image files, there is currently no known way to dig one up. Well, thank you. And there's a cactus flower evidently in the image files. A lot of this stuff is re. Uh, they got they ran way over or not way over but they ran over on the finished uh, deadline for this the schedule so a lot of stuff uh, is still in files like the uh, heating up and I'll bet you that endothermic fire and some of that other stuff was already in the files or you know somewhere all right let's grab the berries let's grab that let's uh, cook the berries now I should be getting numbers yeah 12.5 and one health. Uh, what else was I going to eat? The frog legs, 12.5 now, and a minus 10 to sanity if you eat them raw. Uh, acorns. Oh, I don't think I read them. Uh, 9.4 and 1, 12.5 and 3. I don't consider that OP since they seem to be destroyed by cut the trees are destroyed. Now, I think it's Bryce is doing the comments on this stuff and he said they were going to cut back on that man my sanity is just going right in the toilet i may be fighting gnarly monsters soon 
Uh, I guess I might as well chop these. I might be uh, picking flowers by torchlight. Oh crap, what hit me? Oh, a gnarly monster. Crud, and I've been slowly working up my uh, health here. We gotta fix this. Okay, I'm just gonna pick flowers to hell with it. Death to the bees. Yeah, we're getting our butt kicked. No, you don't. You need to pick uh, flowers like a madman. Well, I was trying for the uh, butterfly, but... Okay, can we repeat that or not? Get away from this damn bee. Stupid bee. Stupid Chester. Come on bee, go away. Oh hell. You're gonna have to take it, Chester. I don't know why I don't get an attack on him. Come on, Chester, let's get out of here. Okay, where can we go that would accomplish something? Oh, we might be able to make that parasol thing. Alright, what was it under? I think it was under survival. Alright, I'm just running at random, so... Okay, so I don't know if that's going to help us or not. Oh, and shoot. <laughs> well, our sanity's going up. Now, what's the deal on this thing? It looks... If we could get the garland also... Come on, Chester. There's a lure plant. I'm trying to think if that would be advantageous to us somehow. What did I get? Ten? I need two more. Come on, Chester. Don't play with the frogs. I can't think of anything useful I could do with the lure plant. One more for garlands. Bugger off, B. Come on, Chester, run for it. <laughs> A lot of running away here. It's still no spiders. Well, no, I was going to say the hemorrhaging has stopped, but it has not. Damn. Spider! I have never been so happy to see a stupid art spider. And my health is like crap. And I don't have grass. Well, that was uh, badly planned. 
Alright, let's see what we can do with spy and this is gonna trash our sanity too. Uh oh crud. Let's go here. Now let's get our weapon this time. Let's clear out some space. Eat those. Actually I should probably eat everything and get mighty. I don't know if I have enough to get mighty. Am I mighty? How long will I stay mighty though? Mr. Info Bunny here again. Uh, I tried to slow mo that, but you can probably see the if you check the spear and the armor at that point were wet. Now I didn't know any of the information at the beginning of this video when all this was played, so I have no idea at this point what's happening in the game in the video. And there's going to be a couple of more days of that. I think uh, probably several more days of that. So you're just going to have to live with me not understanding the wetness and uh, doing the best I can to get by without it. So, like I said, I should have read more and I didn't. Get off Chester, you rotten spider. Silk! Now remember, we have pig skin, so... How far are you guys willing to go? That'll help. Alright, where are you Chester? Oh, I thought he had monster meat in him. Ooh, my sanity's going down in a mad, bad way. Uh, we could prototype stuff. I don't know if we want to make the umbrella or not. I would think what you call it's almost over. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked. We need more spiders is what we need, unfortunately. Okay, refining boards. Construction. Sign. Right click. Somebody sent me that note and I apologize. I don't remember who. It said you could just right click and get rid of stuff. Oh, Sav. I don't know if Sav's in here. Alright, what do you Oh, I need one more piece of ash. I can do that. Uh, oops. Losing my mind. No, you don't. Just behave yourself. Don't spaz out on me, Woofy. Okay, oops, uh, salve, take the salve, 
Okay, what else can we do here? Boy, what we need is a lot more silk. Uh, Alright, what's in you, Chester? Let's, uh, I don't know. Whoa, my sanity's still going down. Now, why is it going down now? That doesn't make any sense. I have no idea why my sanity's going down. Huh. I got nothing. Okay, I have, uh, that's a mystery to me. Alright, let's do this. And, uh, we could have got rid of those. Um, uh, where's my spear? Alright, time for spiders to die. Time for, uh, flowers to die, too. Come on, spiders, come out of there. <laughs> 